join us back is that uh, whiteboard will not be recording. Wow. So yeah. So yes. What I will do. Oh, sorry. I yes. Just a second. So since this was slightly less planned than I do with my regular classes. So you can see the whiteboard, right? Yes. Yeah, so let's so now it will possibly work better. I'll use and next point next time onwards I'll use uh, one note. So you guys are familiar with these things? With the one note class notebook, you know, means uh, you have uh, come across what is the, you have used these in other courses. Yes, yes sir. Okay, so so I am uh, setting up a one note class notebook for this course. So handouts, class notes, uh, homework, quizzes, create. So I am creating one for this course as well so that uh, we are able to keep a proper record of uh, uh, this and uh, possibly in another five minutes when this is created i'll switch from whiteboard to this because whiteboard kind of crashes on my laptop a lot and uh, since you see that uh, i was greedy and moved to windows 11 on the laptop so it's slightly means uh, I don't want to rely on whiteboard too much. So anyway, what we will cover through the rest of or through the rest of my time in this course is. And. What we call as. Information theory. Fine, so with this. Let us start. So again, physics people, how many physics people are here? Raise your hands. Anish, Sanya, two. Just two from physics. OK, no problem. So you guys have done a course on probability. Sometime. Except class 12th, that is. No, sir, not really. Okay, not really. Okay. It was a part, some small part of some course, but not specifically probability. Okay, great. So then we can actually talk about probability. This is this can be fun. So this is a good thing that. Uh, so what I will do is. I will. So. The question that uh, I would straight away be asking or since we have already lost time in this course, so I won't waste time. And uh, I'll simply jump to. And. But but first. Let us ask the question. How is this relevant in a communications course? Yes, so how is probability relevant in a communications course. Any guesses, ideas? You can guess. 
OK, so. Now another thing is since uh, you are so your minor is uh, electronics and communication engineering, right? Yes. Sir. Yeah, so you have done electronics a lot. Communication, yes, sir. you have done a course on electromagnetics and uh, but uh, the question is what do you mean by communication? Transfer of information. Transfer of information, Ankit. Thank you. So, communication. As Ankit said, is transfer of information. So, I watched Marjit's last lecture. There were, there was something like. Uh, source channel sync noise this is what uh, smarjit showed you in the last lecture in his lecture on am amplitude modulation right yes yeah he had a five stage diagram i am uh, simplifying it to a three stage diagram so Let's uh, delve into this a bit deeper. So we humans are actually. If we talk about communication, it uh, is the transfer of information and. Uh, we have been uh, doing this before uh, even knowing so you would be interested to know that uh, there is something called. There is something called molecular communication. You place your hand on a sharp tip, say a needle or uh, a piece of glass. Don't do that. But uh, say if you do that, there will be an instantaneous communication between uh, your uh, finger. So there are something called nerves in your body. Uh, so I don't know whether so who's from BSB? Abhay, you are from BSB, right? Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, so correct me if where I am wrong. So what happens is when you touch something that uh, is harmful to your body or when you burn your hand or something like that, the pain receptors or uh, whatever the skin in that area, whatever the layer is, I am not good with anatomy. So that releases certain molecules. And certain electrical impulses that yeah, that release some molecules that via your nerves. That your nerves convert into electrical impulses and those electrical impulses reach your brain or your spinal cord that uh, sense danger and. Tell you to retract your hand from that place. Uh, a right kind of on a rough. Yeah, so uh, these electrical impulses are basically communication. Your hand or uh, a part of your body is communicating with the control center and the control center, which is the brain or the spinal cord is communicating back so that uh, you can actually uh, you you are able to survive. This basic communication mechanism is uh, present in all living organisms. So yeah, communication is something. So in that case, it's a two way communication. In the first case, the source is your skin. The channel is are the neurons or the channel is your nervous system and the destination is the spinal cord or the brain. And in the second case, the source is the spinal cord or the brain. The channel is the are the neurons or uh, the nervous system and the. Destination is your the motor nerves of your hand that uh, allow you to retract. So this source channel sync model can be applied to any communication system. Now. We humans we have wanted to communicate information.
get since uh, time you would know so the first form of communication that uh, we developed was oh this is why i don't like whiteboard there were smoke signals gestures and and there were all of these you could fit into the source channel destination model agreed yes, yeah so you could fit everything into the source ch channel destination model so now the question is that uh, you uh, so this is so communication has been uh, a part of uh, us or uh, human society since uh, all the time and it's actually a part of all biological system so what is special about this course because uh, then if communication has been uh, always there then uh, why do why is it a electrical engineering specialization because the answer is that oops most modern day communication is electrical communication the reason that uh, we are able to talk to each other despite the pandemic is because uh, we can do electrical communication and electrical communication like other forms is about the transfer of information between a source and destination via a channel where this information can be treated by noise so here there are uh, so we have actually kind of defined what are uh, what is a source and a destination but uh, there are two more keywords here that uh, i would like you to know so i'll underline that one is information and the other is noise so we have been talking about information since uh, we started this discussion today and uh, but the question there is that what is information and how do you measure see we are uh, talking about transferring information from one place to another right so since we are uh, talking about uh, transferring information from one place to another it can be that uh, information is something that can be transferred so if information is something that can be transferred information is 
something that can be transferred then it can be quantified and hence measured agreed information means uh, if you can transfer information uh, from one place to another and you can say this is less information this is more information you can uh, also measure it do you agree with this observation guys do you agree with this observation that uh, you say that uh, something has less information or something has more information you say that right yes sir yes sir yes so when you say that uh, something has less information and uh, something has more information means that uh, there should be a way to measure information right so yes. in order to do that let us have an so i'll be writing down a few sentences and you can tell me the information content in these after i have written down those sentences fine so you can actually remove the third one this is 3 and 4 have similar amounts of information but uh, uh, yeah so and i'll call this 3 so can you rank these sentences based on the information content which of these has the most amount of which of these has the least amount of information where is this is why i don't like whiteboard yeah yeah so which of these has the least amount of information or i would put it this way uh if i tell you that hey i have something important to tell you you can see the sunrise in the east what will you call me complete idiot everyone already has that information yes sir so uh, this contains uh, less information then you see that uh, india won wins an olympic gold medal unless you don't know it this contains uh, some information you will be curious to know more and uh, an olympic gold is not that usual for india till now i hope that changes but uh, it's not that usual for india and uh, so the amount of information that uh, it would contain for you 
will be definitely higher than someone telling you that uh, sunrise is towards the or the you know, sunrise is seen in the east because if i say that the sunrise is in the east that would be factually incorrect <laughs> and uh, if i tell you that uh, thanos's ship uh, what was it called again the sanctuary 2 i believe so if i tell you that uh, yeah sorry for the drop uh, it went mute for a second so thanos is the ship whether or not thanos is in that is huge amounts of information right so the information content i can write as low and uh, does anyone disagree with this observation no sir okay sir right. so the on what basis are you exactly categorizing this i i i i no so you uh, qualitatively or uh, based on uh, what you uh, what's your name anish yeah so anish uh, based on what uh, you would experience so information is something that uh, kind of you don't know and uh, it uh, puts into your it's it, it puts a uh, new perspective into your head i'll detail this obviously we will uh, this is a mathematics course this is not a avengers based course so i'll definitely detail these things but uh, my first task is to give you you an intuition of things okay so uh these uh, so anish in any case uh, would you agree that these uh, the information or the perceived information in these would be in this order uh, uh, there is information all three but uh, we are categorizing them based on oh, new shock information value. Uh, shock okay. value Okay. Yeah. Then I can agree on this. Yeah. You would say that uh, we are categorizing these on based on the shock value. There is information all th in all three. That's why I said low, medium, high. Not no information. Yes, sir, I agree. Has anyone seen CID? There was a TV show. Yes, sir. So just one person has seen CID. I grew up watching that show. <laughs> yes yeah so cid a common trope is that uh, sir bunti mera pati tha oh ab mujhe inka sara chakkar samajh mein aaya daya ye bunti aur babli pati patni hai so when uh, that lady says the first sentence acp's uh, sentence ab contains absolutely zero information right yes sir yeah so that is no inform that is the no information case so when the there is something that you know and someone rephrases it that is no information so otherwise here the sunrise is seen towards these so these are the three information so in other words simply can say that the information contained within a an event is inversely proportional to the likelihood of that event 
happening so anyone from the jaisalmer area out of you or anyone from rajasthan out of you yes sir i am from rajasthan yeah arpit so if it rains for 3 days continuously in april or may will it make uh, a news yes sir obviously if because the likelihood of a 3 day rain in that area is quite low so that contains information that is something unusual that contains information whereas if it rains for 3 days continuously in guwahati you will say what's new right people will be drowning and still saying yeah it's it keeps on raining here right yes sir yeah so in general if we have an event a then the information contained within the happening of that event is given as i of a and i of a equals minus log to the base 2 probability of a where pa is the a such that zero less than equal to and again now the information content of an event is measured in bits so information or the mathematical form of information is actually the log to log to the base 2 yes log to the base 2 one over the probability of that event happening so the less likely an event the more information will it contain the more likely an event the less information so a certain event certain event has only defined sorry sir this formula which you wrote uh, i equals to log to 1 by pa that is simply defined or uh, uh, that is that is the standard definition okay this is the standard definition of how we measure information i'll cover all of this a certain event has probability a equal to 1 ie sorry log to the base to 1 equals no information fine
So, oh. one key takeaway of this discussion is that again this is not why i not like do not like white word a key takeaway of this discussion is that information oh only exists wherever there is information only exists wherever there is uncertainty you would agree wherever something is certain you cannot uh, say that there is any information related to this anish make sense anish can you hear me ankit anyone yes so you are audible so you are yeah, audible yeah you scared me for a second yeah so you agree that information only exists wherever there is uncertainty yes sir uh, yes sir yes so uncertainty or randomness so we will actually talk about uh, uncertainty at randomness hand in hand so let us again define or let us define or to understand information better we would want to no randomness better and for this let us so in your signal scores you have uh, heard about uh, random signals and deterministic signals yes if sir. you remember yeah so let us define yes. so the first definition or the first formal definition that i would introduce here is a random experiment so a random experiment is an experiment whose outcome is not known for example if you try to use a pendulum to find the value of acceleration due to gravity you would know that uh, it will come out to be 7.5 कोटा फैक्ट्री मैंने भी देखा है या सो ओ फेल फ्लैट एनीवे सॉरी या सो फॉर एग्जांपल सच एक्सपेरिमेंट्स आर टॉसिंग ऑफ अ कॉइन टाइम एंड picking card from randomly these are some 
fine examples of random experiments. So such random experiments have different outcomes with each outcome having a different likelihood of the collection of all the possible outcomes of a random experiment is called the sample space that is for the rolling die sample space is for the tossing of a coin Right, I can write uh, all the outcomes of a random experiment as a set. And uh, that set is called the sample space. Fine. Yes, sir. Yeah, so we generally instead of S, we denote it by Omega. So let me just do that. So instead of S, we generally denote the sample space by Omega. And each individual outcome will outcome of a random experiment is a, is an element within the sample space or outcome omega we can write small omega is an element of capital omega fine so Sample space mega is called discrete if tends countable and called. So, uh, can you tell me what means uh, you do you guys know the difference between countable and uncountable? Real analysis, I believe everyone has done. Yes, sir. So, you know the difference between uh, countable and uncountable. Anyone who doesn't uh, appreciate countable and uncountable now is a good time to ask.
five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, so I believe that uh, everyone has some idea of uh, So now, now let us uh, define. So we have defined the sample space. We have defined an outcome. So I'll also write this an outcome is uh, the most elementary result of a random now let us define so since we started off with the word event let us define an event an event is a subset of space and consists and set containing one or more outcomes. For example, if I say that uh, I roll a die and uh, the result is an even number. Would you call that an event? I roll a die and uh, say that the result is an even number. Would you call that an event, guys? Come on. Yes. Sir. Yes. yes. Yes, so that is an event. So an event in this case, case we call the event A as an even number appearing case of role die then fine So now with this, let's uh, define a scarier thing. Similarly, for the toss of a coin, omega equals uh, Assuming that the coin light lands on a face. I'm not uh, considering the case of a straight coin. So the events are. Sorry, this is not right. Fine. These are the possible subsets of the sample space.
गौरव गौरव ओके नो प्रॉब्लम हर्ष सी दिस इज अ स्मॉल क्लास सो आई कैन कॉल ऑल ऑफ यू बाय नेम मृत्युंजय सान्या दीज आर दी सो ओके आई कंटिन्यू या सान्या सो with this in our head we define the sigma field field created with a sample space is the collection of all the subsets of that is for omega equal to can define sigma field as h or rather let's do this in order this is the corresponding sigma field to the toss of a coin and uh, sigma field basically the sigma field contains in context of probability text of probability the sigma field contains all the possible events that can happen in a random you can uh, if you throw a die you can always say the number is odd the number is even the number is less than 2 the number is a power of 2 the number is uh, greater than 3 the number is even and greater than 3 you can come up with all sorts of events and uh, these if you list up the all the sets or if you list up the power set of uh, that thing exhaustively Uh, we, you will get uh, all the possible event you will get a list of all the possible events the reason that we use the notation sigma field and not power set is because power sets are defined only for discrete sets whereas 
will have both continuous and discrete sample spaces and uh, you know that uh, uh, so for a discrete sample space the sigma field is the power set of uh, the and an event a a is a is an element of uh, the sigma field but a is a subset of sample space fine so we'll stop here today and uh, wednesday we will look at mathematical properties of elements fine okay then thank you all have a nice day we'll sir? meet again yeah yeah jay uh, sir is uh, professor das doing okay yeah he's And, fine uh, how how long are you expected to take these lectures is there an estimate uh, i am estimating 3 weeks okay sir okay so bear Thank with you. me for another 3 weeks no problem sir. we had a nice session today yeah so okay. anyway uh, jackson so what i'll do is i'll make the i'll connect the one note notebook later yes, today sir. i yes. have another class from 3 so after that i'll connect the one note notebook these notes will be available there and i'll upload this to youtube Okay sir thank you thank you so much bye have a nice day